The Los Angeles Coliseum, a place traveler calls home and the crowd loves to fight on when supporting the USC Trojans. Today, we have one of those games that tests your focus. Top 25 team against an unranked opponent. Can you take care of business? As we'll see a squad from the Big Ten, the Rutgers Scarlet Knights, taking on the 25th ranked team in the land, the USC Trojans. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. And the Trojans will put total leather and will get started. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. The Scarlet Knights offense takes the field for the first time today. And here he is, one of the best receivers in the game, and he just commands attention, both from the defense and from the fans. Yeah, he's a guy you got to keep your eye on, and you're going to see him line up all over the field in this game. He can play in the slot, he can play out wide, he can run the entire gamut in the route tree as well. Really nothing this guy can't do. And this defense knew coming into the game with this quarterback speed, David, they were going to have to be ready for him to tuck the ball and take off running. But it doesn't matter. You know it, but he's so fast. He just, you don't know about the angles, and you can't tell how fast till you get in the game. And he just takes off and, and makes big plays with his feet. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Unloads to the right. Wide open downfield. And he found all kinds of room and got it down to the 28. Don't you just love the big boys? When the big boys up front do their job and create a great pocket, and the quarterback has time now to survey the field and take shots down the field and make huge plays. This crowd, full throat, spreading the eardrums and letting them know it's gonna be a long day. Looking down the middle. Oh, he drops the football. He had it right down the gut of the field. Instead, it'll be second down. All right, drops are a part of football. It's a part of offense. It's really important for this quarterback now is to come back to the receiver, even after dropping that ball, to show him that you still got confidence in him and you know it's a long game. They'll try again on second down after the incompletion. He leaves it with his back. They'll pick up five. It'll be third and five. Five to six yards a pop. I don't know if you guys are really good at math, but that usually equals a first down every couple carries. So don't forget about the run game. Keep them honest. Count that run. Here they come up to the 23-yard line, not thinking field goal, wanting to convert this third and short. Now they'll run the draw. Got enough space. And he'll glide his way in for the score. Touchdown, Scarlet Knights. That running back just had a caravan of blockers to take him into the end zone. There's not very many times at home, Reese, where I'm going to say that everybody watching on their couch could have scored on that play. This is one of them. Getting set for the point after. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And the house call coming on the run from the 23. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Coming out with it, it's Branch. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. So USC's offense will try to get something started with their first possession. One thing to watch, can this guy get in the quarterback's head and make him take a peek at the rush, David? Dang, Skippy, that's what you want to do. You want to make this guy a little bit more human and not as much of a game-breaker at the quarterback spot? Get some pressure on him. Hit him a few times. He's one of the best quarterbacks in the country, but he can't hurt you if he's laying on his back. And this defensive end can put him there often. Now 
After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Hand off from the shotgun. Everybody talks about DBs. They talk about dropping in coverage and not being physical. <laughs> that DB begs to differ. Great tackle coming up, playing physical like a linebacker. A third and long coming up here. On the run, it's Moth. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. Well, we know this guy is special, and because of that, his quarterback is looking to him on critical down and distances. There on that third down, there was no question. It wouldn't have mattered if he was single covered, double covered, man zone. That's where he was going with it, and the big time playmaker outside picks up the first. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Don't you love energetic defenses that fly around, that make things happen? The ones that get in the backfield, the running back tries to go somewhere. Where do you want him to go? There, there is nowhere to go. Nice job by the defense, creating the tackle for a loss on first down. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. Got it behind the line. It's Robinson. Oh, my goodness, he's still moving. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Doesn't SC always seem to have a quarterback right out of central casting and one that'll pick up a first down for you with his arm? Yeah, and, and it doesn't matter the year. It just doesn't matter the number. It continues to churn out. They find those guys just such an easy place to recruit. When you got that kind of pedigree, you always find superstars at the quarterback spot. Pass is incomplete, but there is a flag, and the D might have been a little too rough on the quarterback here. The late hit moves the ball up 15 yards. Three yards, first down for the offense after that penalty. Out of the gun, the inside give. You know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. As the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into longer runs. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. Pre-snap motion in the backfield. Looking downfield, it's Moss. He'll take a shot. He snares it in the end zone. Touchdown, Southern Cal! Man, really nice job attacking the middle of the field. You see those safeties, man. I want to split them. He splits it right down the middle, throws that post right on the numbers, catches the ball in the end zone. Touchdown. On to attempt to try. And it's perfect. So the touchdown drive goes 63 yards. And they finish it off with a touchdown toss from the 23. All tied up and just about set to kick it away. And he hauls it in and everybody's on the edge of their seats. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. And the Rutgers offense heads back onto the field. Here's the give off the left side. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Most offensive schemes are predicated on first down productivity. That will not go down as a productive first down one. No, it will not, Reese. Give this defensive line credit, because they were able to get penetration right off the snap and force a negative one. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. He finds his man. Good call, good execution as they move the chains and they have a first down at the 38. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. It's first and 10 from the 38-yard line. Looking to move it through the air. Trying to burn this defensive back. Gets downfield for the big catch. Big play for this offense as they get it to the 32. Man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. 
You get a chunk of yards like that, now the defense is really on its heels. The Scarlet Knights come to the line with a new set of downs. The give to the back. They'll rip off eight on that play in second and two. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. He'll pull it on the read. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. There's an example of the offense taking advantage of all the attention the defense is giving this outstanding running back. Remember, he's one of the best in the game. They're expecting him to get the football. So the quarterback says, you know what? I'll just keep it. No one's keying on me. I'm going to get upfield and find an explosive play. Here's the handoff. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And if you want to bring all your tight ends in the game, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to bring in more linebackers, more defensive linemen. Get ready for the run. Less speed on the field, especially when you get down here in the red zone. I feel like I can match up man-to-man -man with those tight ends in the back end. Nice job understanding a run was coming. They'll switch it up here and look to throw. Quickly complete. And that is good versatility there and a big hit from the backer in pass coverage. Nice job by the defense staying with the new team. Getting him on the ground as soon as he catches the football. No one is a threat. I'm not going to let this guy get out of my sights. Nice job by the team. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. And the offense got themselves in a tough situation. Third and long, so hard to execute, especially when the field starts to shrink. But the good news is, they got a field goal in their back. They'll try to put three on the board as the field goal unit comes on. It's good. And with that, they've taken the lead. So after the last drive ended with a field goal, the kickoff team out there to send it away. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Got him downfield. The expressway is wide open. Inside the 10. And he takes it all the way. They couldn't stop him. Touchdown Trojans. The speed kills this offense. They've got multiple guys that can burn you. You can see it doesn't take them long to light up the scoreboard. That start. This dude is in fuego. Over 100 yards receiving already. You could tell there's a matchup they like, and they're going to exploit it, continuing to feature this wide receiver who's just chewing up yards. And with the extra point, they're up 14 to 10. That one's going to get a little star, Martin decided on the play sheet. One play, explosive, touchdown, just like that. They're just about ready to kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. 
Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Rutgers has it back. They'll send the offense back onto the field. To the ground with the back. Danced his way through traffic. Pick up a four to the 19. That's a really nice play. It's impressive. When it's first down, the defense thinks you might be running the football. You still can line up. You can get some movement at the point of attack and find a little crease for your running. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Gonna run it. It's Monaga. Pass the sticks and still on his feet. Finally pulled down, but not before. Moving the chains for a first down. And listen, the offensive line has to do their job, but a really good job by the running back, understanding where his hole is. Go hit it, get the first down, don't mess around. Nice job following his hole, getting positive yards. It'll be a first and 10 from the 29. They'll give it to the back. He picks up maybe a couple before he stopped right at the 30 yard line. They're strong and they're strong. Defensive tackles, they're scrawl. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance when you got that 300-plus pound guy grabbing you around the shoulder pad. You tend to go to the ground pretty quickly. Pretty good job of running to get two there to the 32. All right, well, the offense here, they're trying to get this run game established. They obviously don't break off a long run there, but they're just trying to find their footing at this point. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. Got his man quickly. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. Hard work pays off, guys. These offenses work so hard week in, week out, working on those critical down and distances. Third downs, and having that conversion this early in the game, that's got to feel good for this offense. And the Scarlet Knights are on the move. He'll keep it himself. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. Well, not much the defense could do there. The defensive end crashed down thinking the running back had it, but nice job with the ball handling there by the QB. Just trying to avoid negative plays, continue to put stress on the defense. That's what he does there. And that's a play this guy can run to sleep to. They rep this over and over and over. It's like clockwork for this guy. Power football with the run. And he was able to run through one tackle, but still only a modest gain. I think tackling is about effort most of the time. It's about how much passion, how much physicality you can bring to get your guy on the ground. Refuse not to get him on the ground. That's not a big back. you got to get that guy on the ground. You can't let him pick up an extra couple yards and stay ahead of the sticks. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. Runs through a tackle. He's run out of bounds, but he's got enough to move the sticks. Well, this defense is on its heels right now, especially trying to stop the run. They're just not being physical enough. They give up another run right there for a first down. Someone's going to have to step up and make a play. They've gotten this thing up and running fast. Back and forth. We're inside a minute to play in the first. Running back searching for a hole. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. They'll go to the ground. And we've been waiting to see the spin move, and so too had the defense. They were ready for it. As we head to the quarter break, it is USC holding the lead. And after that first quarter, let's see if these guys can get back in the game in the second. A third down play to get the quarter started. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires to the right. And they can't make the connection on third down. Well, on third and short in field goal range, they dial up the pass play. Quarterback was trying to get through his progressions. There was just simply nobody open. Couldn't make an accurate enough throw. Ball falls incomplete. Now 
setting up a big decision here on fourth. And they'll send the field goal team back out for the second time tonight. This is going to have to be unleashed from 54 yards out. Never a doubt. A penalty marker Personal is down. Foul. This is on the Another defense. Team. The offense defense. is going to have a choice to make. Do you dare take the points off the board and go for the touchdown? The offense comes back out with a new set of downs after the penalty. Off the play fake on first down. Short throw to the sideline is complete, and he's out of bounds after picking up a couple. You know, lots of times these slot receivers, they're not the biggest guys in the world, but they're really good at finding the open spaces in the middle of the field. And you saw that guy attack the defense in the perfect spot, making life easy for his QB. Defense has to be frustrated. The offense keeps matriculating and matriculating and matriculating the ball down the field. Grab behind the line. It's Monaga. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. Listen, if I'm a QB, second down, I want to check the ball down and get a manageable third down. But when this defense is flying around like this, so fast closing out, he got to that running back, got him on the ground so fast, the running back had nowhere to go. Looking to throw it again. Unloads to the wideout. He's got it. They make the stop at the five-yard line, and they've got it first and goal. Really nice play call there because the defense might have been thinking on third and short in the red zone, they're probably going to run the football instead. They throw it, catch them off guard, and now they've got first and goal. And after yet another third down conversion, they've got it first and goal. This quarterback part of their running game. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. Well, they try to go quarterback design run on that play, but the defense just not buying it. Nice job, everybody playing downhill and making a tackle close to the line of scrimmage. They moved him forward to the two. Now it's second and goal. He's looking to throw. Trying to get to it. And they can't make the connection, and it could get worse. A penalty flag on the field, and it's in the holding zone. Let's get the call. They say you could call holding on every play. Well, they did on that one. Looking for a gap. It's Monaga. Keeps those legs churning for three yards. He's down at the nine. It's looking like they're going to have to try to throw this one into the end zone here on third down, David. Quarterback's got to be careful. Can't get greedy because you know these windows, they close fast. Extremely tight windows. Find your big body guys that you know can win in contested situations here on third down. On third and goal, they'll throw it. Couldn't find a man and just had to throw it away to avoid a negative play. Really nice third down sub defense there that time. It's third and long. They're expecting pass. And they're mixing up their looks. They're trying to change the picture pre-snap to post-snap to confuse the quarterback. Now forcing the incompletion setting up for them. And for the second time tonight, they'll trot out the field goal kicker. It is good. So after the made field goal, they'll kick it away and rely on their defense. He'll bring it out. It's Branch. You're not getting him on the ground. Still on his feet. And good work by the coverage team to knock down the return man. Pulled and finds his man on the left. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. Win with the running game on first down, now back at it. They'll keep it on the ground to the right. 
He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. It's hard to run on a defense that comes off the ball like that and runs to the football like that. Good luck. No holes anywhere. Now facing a third and long. To the air, it's Moss. Gonna let it fly. Makes the catch down the right side. And they'll do more than move the chains. They'll move that thing more than 30 yards down the field before he's finally stopped. The Trojans will snap it on first and ten. Using his legs, it's O'Neal. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. And sticking to the run. I'll tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn. And they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football. You can tell. Off play action. Fires to the right. A strike downfield. Brought down just outside the red zone. He moves the change. It's at the 22. Best uniforms in the sport, and a play is made befitting of those threads. Well, this is not the format to have a debate back and forth. Not the best uniforms, but definitely always a lot of flash and sizzle with USC offenses. From the shotgun, they'll run it. They get him on the ground with this running game imposing its will. Six-yard gain down to the 17. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run. Then you open it up for the passing game. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. He's looking to throw. He's got it on the move. They get him down, but this offense is set up first and goal from the nine. This defense has got to be better in coverage. You want to get off the field? You got to keep defending. You got to do something to make the offense feel uncomfortable. So far, way too easy for this offense. And the Trojans have it with a first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. They get him down after a four-yard gain to the six. Movement from the linebackers trying to mess with the offensive line's assignments. Gets it out fast. Touchdown, USC! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. This offense is really dangerous because of the weapons they have on the perimeter of the field. And you're seeing they go to these guys early and they try to give them opportunities in one-on-one -on -one situations and vertically down the field. Two passing touchdowns now early for this offense. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And they kick it through for the extra point, and they have an eight-point lead. An 84-yard drive there, and he got into the house from the six to finish it. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Fielded in the end zone, it's Benjamin. He's brought down as the 16 would have been much better off to take the touchback. And the Rutgers offense heads back onto the field. 
Always good to get points on a drive, David, but chip shot field goals can leave you a little empty. And I think it's great to get points, but the great teams get touchdowns in the red area. you got to get out there this time and execute a little better on this drive. You're absolutely right, David. Generally, the best red zone offenses are the ones that run the ball the best. So, let's see if they can be a little bit more physical on this drive. After the nine-yard pickup on first down, here's second and one. Looking for a crease, it's Monaga. Brought to the ground, but not before getting enough for the first down. Offensively, and are you going to take four to six every play? Yes, please. Sign me up for that. I'm going to take that every single time. Great job by the offense. Staying patient, staying true to who they are. You want to run the football. You want to be physical. You want to establish yourself. Check, check, check. Wide receiver now comes in motion. The inside handoff. Pushes ahead for a couple. They'll mark it at the 33. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. Makes one man miss. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. Well, and on these little push passes, timing is so important. You're trying to snap it right as he's getting a full head of steam. When he gets the ball, he's hitting the outside. David, who puts the defense in such a difficult spot? You immediately have to be rotating when you see that motion. So everybody's got to communicate and kind of bump over. That's why offenses love to run it. Just It makes the defense communicate and see if you can just get him out of the spot. And they're able to get a third down stop here. See if they go for it on fourth. The Scarlet Knights will line up to punt it away. Looking for a block, it's Branch. He gets it up to the 34-yard line before he stopped, and that's where the offense will set up shop. This Trojan offense is ready to go back to work. Man, what a drive last time for the touchdown. That passing attack was lethal, David. Yeah, and you know, you hear all these stupid commentators like me and Jesse talking about create balance, you know, run and pass. No, when you throw that good, spin the ball around. So the defense has to find a way to affect the quarterback on this drive because last drive, he had way too much time to throw. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. The play action fake. Blasted as, and the pass is intercepted. Knocked out quickly after the pick, but that offense says thank you very much, and they'll have it at the 43. That's one of those throws. He tried to give it some touch, and as soon as it left his hand, you know he was thinking, no, 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 please bring it back. Bring it back. As a quarterback, Reese, you got to throw the ball with conviction. Generally, when you do, when you throw it harder, oftentimes you're a lot more accurate. All of a sudden now, you try to take something off. You're trying to throw the perfect spiral and cut the wind, and your accuracy goes down, and that was an example there. Errant throw on the interception. They go to the ground. Got enough for the first. He's all the way down to the 27-yard line, and they are threatening. This running back loves running into the teeth of the defense. In between the tackles, he keeps a low pad level, and he's got some speed. Now on first and 10 from the 27. They're getting this guy lathered up. Smashes ahead. He'll be down at the four yard line after that terrific run. Man, this is a guy who just seems to get better as the game goes on. What a run getting his offense down close to the goal line. So nice creating explosive runs in the run game. Now you're getting in the red inside the five. Go punch this in and get a touchdown. And the Scarlet Knights trying to cash it in on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he'll take it in. Touchdown, State University of New Jersey.
Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. Blitz the uprights. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish it off with the score from the four. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And he'll return it and try to get behind his blockers. Good job by the coverage unit to stop the return man. And guys, USC has the ball back and sending the offense onto the field. Boy, they hope this next drive is more productive after throwing a pick last time, Jesse. Yeah, the coaches did a good job on the sideline there, just talking to the young quarterback and making sure he's able to turn the page, calm him down, to go out and refocus this drive. Yeah, yeah and some people do that better than others, but you got to show some trust in him, maybe get the ground game going, help around him a little bit with this system. This offense has a second down play. Looking downfield, it's Moss. He's got him this time. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. After that earlier interception, they want to make sure this guy gets his rhythm back. Yeah, and sometimes when he loses confidence, he's just, he's also not going to push the ball down the field. He doesn't want to make a mistake, and that's a tough life. You, you want your quarterback to play free and not worry about making that mistake. He's already made one. This is a good way to kind of get that confidence going again. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. Third and short, and I guess the only thing they really took out of play in the shotgun was the quarterback sneak. Yeah, and that's kind of what I like to do, Reese. I mean, third inches, I, I want to run the quarterback sneak, run the football. But this team, fully comfortable throwing the football, and you see why. Easy pitch, easy catch, first down. Not able to break the big one on that screen to the running back, but he found enough and a solid pickup on first down. And he didn't get a big gain. You, you want to call that play and probably want to get more yards, but you could tell that was super close from seriously busting loose. Nice job running the screen, getting the ball to your playmaker. If he could just make one more guy miss, that might have been huge. Using the quick game. And that defense is there to guide him out of bounds after a short game. That throw and catch, a really good example of why coaches don't want a quarterback to get stuck on a particular target, isn't it, David? Yep, that's exactly right. Find the guy who's open because you got so many guys that have so much speed that can do so much damage on the field. Find my matchup, get it to him, let him do the rest. Fires to the big fella. Nice job to pick up the first down, and they'll spot it at the 42. The offense will have to use its first timeout of the half. Shotgun fundamentals are so key. He was like a shortstop. Caught the shotgun snap and right away rifled it out of his hands like he was turning two. That would... And the defense will corral the quarterback, and down he goes at midfield. The offense uses a timeout to stop the clock, and they'll get a quick breather. Timeout. This drive was rolling and then it got thrown into reverse. Here's a second and 18. To the air, it's Moss. Fires to the wideout. Not in lockstep there with the receiver. Not sure exactly what went haywire there, but the timing was just off. And that's your job as a defense, right? You gotta find a way to disrupt the timing and jam wide receivers or get to the quarterback and make him feel uncomfortable, but you can't let that timing be easy and effortless. Nice job by the defense. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. Man, what a spectacular play by that defensive end to come up with the tackle there. And you see those guys get off the football so fast. Most of these guys are 250 to 275 pounds, but they get off the ball fast and low. And the offensive line, they have no chance to stop those guys as quick and as fast as they are. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. They'll run it out of the shotgun. These little gains can start to add up as he gets it up to the 34. There's a timeout call as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Looking to throw on second down. The pass falls incomplete and there are eight seconds left. All right, it's a good 
good result for the defense. We knew coming into this year they wanted to really improve their pass defense and their secondary and coverage. Nice job there. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Going to try to get it himself. They finally get him on the ground, but not before he rips off enough for a first down. The offense wastes no time getting the timeout call. They'll have just enough time to get one more snap before the half. He's looking to throw it. Fires one high and deep. So close to a huge gain there, but he makes the catch out of bounds. It's incomplete. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. And we've been looking forward to this one all week. A fun start to things in L.A. And we have to start this halftime breakdown by addressing the play of this elite wide receiver. This is clearly a young man who, once he's finished playing on Saturdays, he's going to be playing on Sundays. The kid has different gears. He has a knack for finding gaps in the defense. And I can't remember a college player with that kind of catch radius. With that said, let's send it back to the guys at the L.A. Coliseum. Looks as if we are set to crank it up here in the second half. He'll bring it back from inside his five. And he'll be brought down after a solid effort on that return. This Trojan offense is ready to go back to work. They got plenty done through the air in the first half, and we'll see if they even need to look for balance as we start the third quarter. Well, and I, and I think defensively you understand, like the running game isn't a big part of the plan. I wonder how they adjust and play more coverage to this pass-happy offense. Yeah, so you're going to have to be ready if you're a quarterback then. You're probably going to see some different coverages. You might see a little bit more blitz in the second half as well, so you have to know where your answers are. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Caught in the backfield, it's Branch. One of the things that makes this guy so dangerous is how good he is after the catch. If he's got any space around him, he's able to burst. He's able to make people miss and get extra yards for his offense. You saw it right there. After the strong run on second down, third down coming. Do they do it again? Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. And he gets it done on third down. They move the chains and they'll mark it at the 44. Wow, the running back there showing you his skill set. is able to rip off that one for a first down. The Trojans have it with a first and ten. Dropping back, it's Moss. Throws to the wideout. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Didn't connect last time. Let's see if they throw it again on second down. The give to the tailback. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Man, not much wiggle room for the ball carrier there. I'm not really sure what they can do to try to create some space. I know. Block better. How about the offensive lineman push some guy backwards and make some holes? Some third down conversions tougher than others. This one, a long one on third down from the 43. From the gun, wants to pass. Catch in the middle, it's Copeland. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. Great job by the quarterback thrown against zone coverage. You cannot telegraph where you're throwing the football. You cannot eyeball wide receivers. So great job by the quarterback using his eyes, not staring down his guy, and then throwing him open. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. Rutgers has it back. They'll send the offense back onto the field. One running back in the backfield, and he has it. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Great job by the defense. Everybody firing off the ball, hitting their guys, holding their gaps, running to the football, nowhere to come. 
They got nothing on the last play at second and ten. They'll try the right side. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? That back had absolutely nowhere to run the football. Actually, is he counting? I think he's counting to make sure there's only 11 guys on defense. Third down conversion's always a huge stat. They've got a third and long from the 27. It's a draw. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. The Scarlet Knights will bring the punt team onto the field. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Bringing it back, it's Branch. Coverage team gets the job done, and they'll mark him down at the 38-yard line. And guys, USC has the ball back and sending the offense onto the field. Going up top on first down. He's got his man. They'll get him down, but not before he crosses the 50. He's down to the 49. Trojans used to be known for student body riding. They can still do that. But with quarterbacks like this, you want to put it up. Yeah, I think they, they hung that up years ago when they started to find, you know, big, strong quarterbacks that can throw the ball all over the yard. So I, I like the student body right, student body left. But that's a little old school for me. Makes the grab and he's dragged down. They've done a really good job creating the matchups they want out of the slot. Yeah, dude, get that guy matched up on a linebacker. That guy matched up on a safety. Keep him away from the corners by putting him in the slot. Get him the football. Let him make plays. Looking for room. It's O'Neal. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. And a lot of times you want those big plays. You want those splash plays. But sometimes you're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well. But if you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Otherwise, you're just going to abandon it. And now it's just going to be a passing game. On third and short, they'll try to throw for it. It's a big stride inside the 10. And he ran away from the defense to take it in. Touchdown, Trojans. And with that latest touchdown, he's looking to etch his name alongside the Trojan Immortals at quarterback. And there's so many stars that have played quarterback at USC that when they get the ball and they do their damage, guess what? They win big-time trophies. And this guy, you have days like this, week in and week out, you will be recognized as the best player in college football. And with that one, he's now over three bills for the game. And there's two reasons why, Reese. He's made good decisions, and he's been accurate throwing the football all game long. The kick is up and good. It put one more on the lead. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And the finisher coming on that 42-yard touchdown toss. They're lining up to boot it away. On the move from inside his five. Bring in the heat. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. And the Rutgers offense heads back onto the field. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. You open a drive like that and you've got some operating room. It's first down from the 38. To the ground. He's got it again. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. He's looking to throw. Makes the grab on the left. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. You see it more and more. Smaller wide receivers. I don't care about their size anymore. I put him in the slot. I let him 
can get a good matchup. They're so quick, people can't get their hands on them. They make plays, and I feed them the football. These are guys that have a lot of catches throughout the season. Looking to throw for it. Just missed his man, gave him just a little too much. Defense did a great job. Third and short on the opponent's side of the field. They're expecting quick throw. Everybody, they dug their heel in the ground. They're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. And the Scarlet Knights send out the punt unit. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. This Trojan offense is ready to go back to work. Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. And this offense did such a good job on the last drive. Everything in rhythm, moved the ball down the field, didn't make those mistakes, Jesse, and they need to do it again on this one. Yeah, you're right. They had the defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communication was going on that sideline. What sort of changes were they able to make because they got to stop the bleeding right now. Got eight on first down, now looking at a second and two. Caught behind the line, it's Branch. He's out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for the first down. He has been open all day, and the key to making him a Trojan legend is to just feed him the ball. And the key to every USC team is finding the playmakers giving them the football, giving them a chance. If they're covered, they're open. If it's man, they're open. If it's zone, they're open. Feed those star wide receivers. They've got the screen set up. They make the stop, but not before the screen has hit them for a first down and much more really good execution by this offense. And the Trojans are in the hurry up. They'll leave it with him. And a pickup of eight opens a world of opportunities on second and two. After the good pickup on first down, let's see if they keep it on the ground. They'll try the run. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Now on third down, this offense has been rolling. Can the defense stand tall? in the backfield. It's Jordan. He couldn't find anywhere to go, and now it's fourth down. He was not fooled on that one. You know, a lot of times you want to buy space, and you throw this route, really, when it's off coverage. But you could tell the cornerback was up, ready to come, pounce on that screen, and get the tackle for a loss. They really have no choice here. This is a no-brainer. You go for it here on this fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. And he is! Accepts it. Looking for more room. He's at the 20. Touchdown, Rutgers. And this defense coming up with points of their own. What an interception return. Man, that could not have gone any worse. You're thinking fourth down, go for it. Well, even if you don't get it, you turn the ball back to their offense. Not that. You throw a pick, and they turn it back all the way for a touchdown and get points. That is a disaster for this offense. After the touchdown, if they can get this two, we'll have a tie ball game. I'm trying to power it in. He's not going to get there as this defense stops the two-point conversion attempt and they hang on to this slim lead. They're about to kick it away and the defense probably can't wait to get back out there after the pick six. He'll start the return inside his five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. And guys, USC has the ball back and 
sending the offense onto the field. Snags a quick pass on the left. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. He's just winning that matchup in the slot every time. And when you put him in the slot, Reese, he's closer to the quarterback. It's an easier throw. We can run in, we can run out, and really take advantage of his versatility of the guy in that slot position. The give out of the gun. And they'll spot it at the 38, and that will be plenty for the first down. That has got to be demoralizing if you're on defense because they just ran the ball right up the middle, down your throat, and they gashed it. It's first and ten from the 38-yard line. He wants to throw. Makes the grab. It's Branch. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. It's so nice as a quarterback when you've got a guy like that working for you in the slot. He has such a good feel to find the open spaces in the defense. Just makes life so much easier for his quarterback. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. Looking to throw, it's Moss. Right through his hand. You just have to make that catch, and it'll be third down. Oh, it, it's always frustrating as a quarterback when you put it on the money and the guy drops it. But you know what you got to do? You got to build his confidence. Buddy, I'm coming back to you later. Just get your mind right. Get ready, because I know you can make that catch. As they come to the line on third and short from the 43, I wonder if they already know they'll go for it if they don't make it here. Those two not on the same page. It's incomplete. Well, in the first half, this offense was up and down the field. It seemed like everything they were dialing up was working. And here we are in the third quarter, and there's a very rare incompletion on their own end of the field. Maybe that's the play the defense needs now to spark some momentum. The Trojans will try to pin them back with the punt. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. Rutgers has it back. They'll send the offense back onto the field. Caught near the sideline, it's Miller. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. Well, you can tell those two have been practicing the out route all offseason long. They look like they could have completed that in their sleep. And now on second down for this offense. Gets it out quickly. They make the stop, but the sweet rolling catch is plenty to give them a first down. I'll tell you what, that's great execution between the QB and receiver. They look like they could execute that throw in their sleep. Quarterback took his steps, threw it on time. Great route by the receiver. Nice job securing the catch. And now on first down after converting with the run. He's going to pass. Going downfield for the big play. And it slips through his fingers, incomplete. That would have been a huge game if he could have held on. You don't get a lot of chances like that in games, guys. Take shots downfield, and when you get open, you got to finish the play, and the wideout's going to wish he had that one back. Couldn't make the play last time. Now it's second and ten from the 30. Fast motion from the offense. Leaves it with the running back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Great job of contained by this defense. And in order to do that, the end man on the line of scrimmage defensively has got to be able to set the point and force the football back into traffic. That's exactly what happened. As we head to the quarter break, it is USC holding the lead. Three quarters are in the books. Time becomes a factor, both in trying to hold the lead or cut into it as we take a look at the steps. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. On third down, going up top. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. Third and long situation, we're bringing an extra DB on the field. We're telling our front guys to pin your ears back and go get the QB, and they get the job done.
The Scarlet Knights will hunt it away on fourth down. Slips through the line. He turns like that, or why you don't settle for the fair catch if you don't have to. Picks up just a little bit of yards to help out the O. Back to throw, it's Moss. Quickly out to the tight end. And he might be known for run fits, but that was a sure and heavy tackle on the tight end. Look, you can't take away everything, right? So you give them that and rally and make a solid tackle. Yeah, and a lot of times in zone coverage, I, I like when I can get all the eyes on the quarterback. I like when I can see the routes and see him develop in the middle. And you could tell they had keys on the tight end. He wasn't going anywhere after he caught that football. He brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. And a really nice job by the defense winning second down. I think the quarterback thought he could dump this off, maybe get some positive yards, set up a good third down. The defense did a great job responding and getting that running back on the ground. The line to gain here is the 43-yard line, and it's third down. Catch in the middle. It's Jordan. Just what they were looking for, and he's got him set up in business at the 35 with a first down. Boy, the defense really needed to get off the field there, and they just couldn't do it. It's a fresh set of downs. Man, that hurts. When you're trailing late in the ball game, you need those stops. You get them to third down. You get them to those critical points. Now they get the first down. You don't have many left. You better get aggressive. Quarterback on the keeper. He has an extensive juke library, and he exhausted it and still didn't pick up much. Well, good decision there by the QB. A little zone read action. He reads the defensive end, crashing down, keeps it himself, gets a nice chunk of yards. And when you do that, you sort of get the drive going or keep it going, as the case may be. It's amazing in college football now how big of a part of each offense the zone read has become. We're seeing more and more athletic quarterbacks on the rosters now. That is a staple of the sport. The Trojans are moving quickly down the field. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. It's caught downfield. Defense is there to make the stop, but he's got the first down, and they'll have it first and goal with the six. This is so interesting right now, watching this offense stay aggressive. They've got the lead in the fourth quarter, and you're thinking at home, we got to just run the ball and try to bleed the clock. They found something on defense they're taking advantage of. Two straight completions. I won't be surprised if they throw it again. He'll be brought down at the five-yard line, and this defense is on its heels. Second and goal for this offense. He'll run it to the right here and try to get it into the end zone. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And the offense, they're just trying to be physical. They're trying to run this ball in down close to the goal line. The defense, though, they are having none of it. Third and goal coming up here. Looking for a man. It's Moss. Pressure coming. He's got it. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Southern Cal. How about the day for this young fella? Three receiving touchdowns. Hey, defense, that guy's good. We might want to do something about it. Let's we'll send two at him. Let's we'll send three at him. We can't let this guy continue to beat us time and time again. to add another. And the extra point is good, and the lead is nine here in the fourth. They just finished off a 53-yard scoring drive, and they closed the deal with the seven-yarder for the score. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. 
And the Rutgers offense heads back onto the field. Wants to throw on first down. And he was hit just as he was releasing the pass, and it falls to the ground incomplete. Well, this defense felt coming into the game that if he was going to try to throw from the pocket, they could get to him and affect his accuracy, and they did on that last play. And after the incompletion on first down, this offense looking at second down. Snap in the shotgun. Throwing right. And he just flat dropped it. I think he wanted to run before he secured it. And you got to put that one on the receiver. That's just a flat out drop. That's a good throw by the quarterback. That's a catch that receiver needs to make. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Never has to leave the pocket and fires over the middle. It's complete. A huge pickup. And they'll do more than move the chains. They'll move that thing more than 30 yards down the field before he's finally stopped. And even though they're trailing here in the fourth quarter, they've got a quarterback that can bring them back. But they need him now to play his A-plus level of football. We saw a nice completion on that last third down. Let's see if he can keep it going. The RPO fire complete to the left. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. And that's just a great individual effort by the wide receiver. He catches this ball way short of the sticks, but because he's able to make the defender miss, now he's able to get the extra yards and turn that into an explosive play. And the Scarlet Knights come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Out of the gun, the give to the back. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. Looking to throw. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. Yeah, and a really good job by the defender. Understand the ball's coming. I gotta break on it and go and not try to intercept it and make a bad play. He swats it down to make sure that's an incompletion. These fans stepping up to help this defense on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Got the quick pass. Moving deeper into enemy territory. Move the chains. It's first down at the 27. They absolutely had to have that third down to keep any glimmer of hope alive. And defensively, that's exactly what I want. Make you get the third down. The clock is your enemy. Multiple possession lead. That is right where I want this offense. Off the play fake on first down. Wants to throw. Shoots it to the left. Got his man downfield. Touchdown, Scarlet Knights! And they take it in for six more points. Well, we wondered exactly where the momentum was, and it looks as if Uncle Mo might have switched sidelines and switched families. And momentum is such a big thing. It's such a real part of college football, isn't it? And you can just feel that right now. Just felt a few minutes ago like this game was over, and all of a sudden, this team... They're believing in themselves. They've got some win. They've got some hope. Their defense now needs to get the football back to keep that momentum going. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. So a drive there of 82 yards. And they cap things off with a scoring toss from 27 yards out. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll take the return and try to improve the field position. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. This Trojan offense is ready to go back to work. Caught over the middle, it's Copeland. They stop him just a link or two short of the first, and man, what they can do on second down here. Well, this quarterback now has over 400 yards passing. To do that, you have to have weapons catching the ball. You've seen that in this offense all game long. There are some dangerous playmakers in the perimeter. Wide receiver shows motion. They'll run it from the gun. 
And he'll get it up to the 38. It'll be a first down. They'll always have to run the sexy plays, right? It doesn't have to always be up-tempo and fast and spread and doing all this stuff. Sometimes you just lower your shoulder. Sometimes you just run powerfully. You get the first down, and that's all that matters. It's first and 10 from the 38-yard line. Right back to the well. Turns it on in midfield. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. But right away after picking up the first down, they go right back to their playmaker at running back. And I love the push they got up front, getting a hat on a hat, opening a huge hole for the back. And you become so hard to defend when you can run the football successfully on first down. You're starting like that. Now what opens up? Play action. Now you're making me play pass and run this offense. If they can... He's got it inside the 15. And he just kept running. And he ran away from the crowd. And he'll take it in. Touchdown, Trojans! This is like a baseball pitcher that can't miss. He is just pounding, pounding, pounding the strike zone. That just gets in the zone, right? You can't miss. You, you, you've seen quarterbacks get like that. No matter what they do, they're on fire. They're hitting the receivers. And listen, that's also on the defense. The defense has to do a better job making him feel uncomfortable, changing what they're doing in coverage so he's a little bit confused. You can't just let him pick you up one. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is good, and the lead is nine here in the fourth. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they finished it with an explosive play in the passing game, scoring from 47 yards out. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Rutgers has it back. They'll send the offense back onto the field. He just missed the target on that one. Got to put it on his body. Well, they're trying to attack the middle of the field. That time the ball a little too high for his wide receiver and it falls incomplete. Second down coming up. After the incompletion, back to the passing game. And that pass will be jarred loose on second down. That brings up third down. That's what I'm talking about. That is how you close. And when a guy's going to make a catch, you make sure he doesn't make it. Physicality, using your pads, running through them. And guess what? Not only this play does he feel it, next time he tries to go over the middle or feels footsteps, this will pay dividends. Unloads to the wideout. Grabbed in the middle, it's Miller. They've got it to the 49-yard line, and they'll move the chains. This is the moment for this offense to put a drive together. It doesn't matter what's happened up to the point of this game, but you're trailing right now. You've got to put some points up on the board. This is where all 11 guys need to be playing together as one. The Scarlet Knights will have it first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. Quick strike complete. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. Well, down two possessions. Good news is you get the completion. Bad news, though, did not get out of bounds. You know right now, saving the clock, that is at a premium for this offense. And the Scarlet Knights look to keep this drive humming. He'll just keep slinging it. Fires to the big fella. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. I think that time offensively, you just try to take what the defense is giving you, right? They're playing zone coverage. you got your big fella just working right over the ball. It's an easy pitch and catch. Just take the profit. Let's keep going. The Scarlet Knights want to crank the tempo. He wants to pass it on second down. And they couldn't make the connection on the long shot. It's great for this quarterback to take shots down the field, but you just don't want it to feel like a give up or a chuck it up and hope kind of play. And I think understanding the situation, now I'm on defense, right? If they're going to take shots down the field, maybe I'm a little bit more aggressive with my blitz, understanding that everything's going to take a little bit more time to develop if they're going to take those deep shots. And he's brought down after a nice game. 
Let me tell you, this senior quarterback can flat fit it in a tight window. They're in the red zone, first and 10 from the 20. Trying to cap this drive with the pass. And he got a hand in there, knocks it away incomplete. Listen, a lot of time, tips and deflections are because you got great eyes and vision on the quarterback. You see him release the football, you break on it, you tip that thing, and make sure the receiver can't get it. Now second and ten. He's looking to throw. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical and pass deep. Clicking along, but after a couple of misfires, threatening to stall out on third and ten. Leaves it with the back. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. And this is a no-brainer. It's fourth down. We're down multiple possessions. We gotta make this happen. We gotta get the first down. We can't be worried about the clock. Then we gotta go fast, work the sidelines to the best of our advantage to save as much clock so we can get multiple scores. Fourth down, looking for the completion. He got it. Oh, and he thought he might be able to wiggle his way into the end zone, but they knock him down at the three. And the Scarlet Knights trying to pay off the threat on first and goal. Here's the snap, looking to throw. Pocket starts to collapse. Hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver. Well, the offensive line has got to give him at least a little bit of time to survey the field. He had no chance that time getting hit almost immediately after he got the ball. Got nothing last time. Now second and goal from the three. He's looking to throw. Let's it fly. And it's incomplete as he tried to thread that needle to the back corner of the end zone. And how loud is it in this building? This is crazy. This, these fans are going absolutely nuts. And I used to love when the fans got involved. And I'm on defense because it messes with the snap count. It messes with the communication. And it can really rattle an offense. They're going to throw it on third and goal. Unleashes to the end zone. And it's grabbed for the late touchdown. And how about this? It's not over yet. And listen, still a ways to go. But great job by this offense getting you back in the ball game. Now we got a one possession game. We got our score. We did what we're supposed to do. Now how do we get this stopped? Now the defense has to come up big and get me the rock back. PAT unit on the field. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. That is what they mean when they say ball control. A 14-play touchdown drive. And they finish it up with a three-yard scoring toss. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. He gets a block. He's on the loose. Wide open, and it's a foot race. He'll take it to the house. Touchdown, USC. He is headed to the sideline with a little bounce in his step after scoring on that kick return. And he should have some bounce in his step. How about the effort weaving in and out, covering all that space? Great blocking on the play, and he does the rest. You don't put guys back deep that can't roll. And you can see when he got in the open field, he rolled out. They'll line up for the extra point, and at this juncture, every point matters. 
And the extra point is up and good, and it's a nine-point lead. Two possessions here late in the fourth. They're lining up for the kickoff, and let's see if this return team can answer with a score of its own. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. And the Rutgers offense heads back onto the field. They're starting to feel a little desperation here, David. They just can't press yet. Hey, it's go time. We gotta put some drives together. Down multiple possessions, Jesse. We don't have any time to waste. Yeah, so at this point of the game, your best players have to touch the football. You've gotta dial up plays, getting your biggest playmakers involved now if you're gonna win this game. Still at their own 20 after that last incompletion, it's second and 10. Misfired on the last play, they'll go back to the air. Makes the grab, it's Miller. Didn't pick up a lot there, moving it forward just a few. And I don't like the play call, guys. Screen pass at this point in the game against the defense, playing big zones, prevent, trying to keep the ball in front. It's just not going to work. You've got to take shots offensively. Got to get to the line quickly for this third down play. From the gun, wants to pass. Grab near the sticks, it's Miller. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve every minute possible. The Scarlet Knights have it with a first and ten. He's looking to throw it. Fires to the middle. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. On second down, they'll take to the air. And he drops it. Just took his eye off of it at the last minute. Yeah, and the QB never wants to miss inside of an out route, right? you got to throw it to the sidelines. Don't let anybody undercut that. Go make a big play. And he did. He put it outside, put it on the money. I think the receiver needs to do a little better job. they got to secure that catch. He was open enough to make that play. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Fires to the wideout. Another incompletion on third down. After that incompletion, fourth and long now on your own side of the field, you're trailing in the fourth quarter. What's your go-to play call here in the passing game? Where is the matchup that you trust in to come up with a big one to give yourself a chance to stay alive and win this game? Down in the fourth quarter, it's too late for empty possessions. They'll go for it on fourth down. Throws to the wideout. Finds his man, and they convert. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. And wait just a second. The official's going to take a second look at this one. And the play will stand after the replay booth just does a little double checking to make sure. He makes a catch. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. This is an offense that has skill, and they've got speed, and because of that, this defense, they can't lull themselves to sleep. They've got a big lead here late, but they've now given up back-to-back -back big plays. they got to put the clamps down. Trying to find his man on first down. Got a man. It's Monaga. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. They get the timeout called, 11 seconds remaining to play. And here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. Dumps it to the back. Got him in, it's Monaga. And the defense able to drag him down, but not before. They'll recycle that down marker. They'll get the timeout with five seconds remaining to play. And after this play, the cake will be baked. They're looking to pass from the red zone. Snags it, and he will score! Touchdown, Rutgers! And that 
That sure feels like too little, too late. This offense, they needed to score and execute faster, but there's not enough time to me, man. This feels like this one's over. Lining up for the PAT. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. So it's an 80-yard drive, and the score comes on a 17-yard throw for the touchdown. They'll line up for the onside kick, just one second to play, and really their only hope is some type of penalty for an untimed down. They were ready for the onside kick and executed perfectly, and they secure the football. 